when I look back at the last six years, I really have to take a moment and like come back to reality, pinch myself. It's not totally for me about the total amount of money we've raised, it's about the impact we've had overall through all the activities that we've done, through all the projects that we've done. Do we all want to be there? We can perhaps do shifts. YTS stands for Youth Transforming Society and we're a humanitarian youth group. YTS was formed after the Haitian earthquake in 2010. We decided to do something about it after watching all the telecasts and all those images of people struggling, people suffering. And myself and three other friends decided to take the two weeks that we have for spring break to dedicate that to a bottle drive. At the end, we collected $1,000. For us, that $1,000 was just like a spark. And this gave us the opportunity to open the doors for us to establish YTS, to have confidence that we can uh, make a difference. While growing up, I saw every member of my family give back to their community. From a young age, I learned the value of hard work, giving back, empathy, caring for people. And that's kind of shaped my life. That's driven me. Our initial goal was to continue to do fundraisers for those type of causes, like when things went wrong in different parts of the world. And I think we did that for two or three years. And after that, we kind of realized that there's other things that we should perhaps be looking at. So that could be local, just at home, here, in our community, or globally. And then the second part, to involve other uh, youth and our peers directly. So we hold uh, events that directly target involvement, such as our uh, Volunteering and Beyond event, which is one of the largest community uh, volunteer fairs in the Lower Mainland, I believe. And we've also introduced a uh, community service scholarship. So in a way to motivate our peers to get involved, we recognize individuals uh, for their hard work, for their community involvement through these scholarships. So basically with these flowers, these are easy to do and then some of us can maybe start on the crunchy flowers. To date, YTS has raised over $16,000 and some of the organizations that that money has gone towards is uh, Red Cross, Oxfam Canada, Salvation Army. When we started YTS in 2010, it was the four of us. And we've grown to a family of over 150 volunteers as well as an executive team that takes on that leadership role of uh, 25 members now. Hey Jason, it's Karen from YTS. How are you? The role that technology has played in helping us reach out to people is amazing. It's been an advantage to help growing YTS for sure. It gives us time, extra time to be able to focus on projects and also helps us communicate with all our members in an instant. So I think for myself and also for YTS, it's just about the fact that we helped. That simple word, that we've helped. And, and if in the last six years I was able to help even just one person, I think it's, it's absolutely worth it.